Hi and welcome to this, the 16th lecture in the series of lectures looking at um, masonry construction. This lecture is going to look at brick coordinating sizes uh, and we'll see why it's important to think about the size of bricks when we're designing. So if we think about coordinating sizes and bricks, they come in standard sizes. It's part of the attraction of brick as a material. Um, their size is consistent, we can use them in a consistent way and as we saw in previous lectures the standard size of a brick is 215 by 102.5 by 65 and the way we design buildings and bricks needs to reflect the knowledge of that standard size and we can create walls that are pleasing to the eye and can be constructed without awkward cuts and joints. So this lecture is going to look at coordinating sizes and how we can make sure brickwork works for us. So if we look at a, a kind of standard brickwork wall here, um, we've got a, a window opening, a block backing. There's a couple of things we need to think about first of all. Um, first of all, we need to consider the, the size of the brick. And we spoke about that a second ago, but Effectively, you're looking at the length of the brick that you'd see in a normal stretcher bond as 215. The height would be 65 millimetres and the depth would be 102.5. And this is the, the, the working size of a brick. This is the size that manufacturers make them to. But what we need to consider is that there's mortar involved in the overall layout as well. And mortar joints are 10 millimetres, so we have a size of 225 along the front. 75 height and 112.5 in depth. And when we start applying that coordinating size to um, the layout of brickwork, it changes the overall length. So we can look at uh, a small series of bricks uh, that give us an overall length of 665, but that's actually made up of three stretchers and two mortar joints, and those mortar joints being 10 millimetres wide. And the same thing happens for heights of brickwork. Um, when we are designing brick walls, we want to think about the overall height of the bricks. And we can see there that we've got uh, three bricks high at 65 plus the two mortar joints, which gives us a height of 215. And um, we would multiply this up throughout the height of a building. And when it comes to window openings, we need to be able to create window openings without having awkward cuts or clumsy joints. So we can have nine bricks plus 10 mortar joints, and that's from the, the kind of bare faces of the brickwork at the bottom and the top. Obviously, there's no mortar on those points there, so we end up with an extra uh, mortar joint. And the same goes for the width of a, a window opening. For this, because we're going from a, a bare brick on either side, we end up with four bricks plus five mortar joints in this particular window. And that gives us a width of 910 millimetres. And if we look at the window on the, the face of it, um, overall it gives quite a, a pleasing aspect to it. There's no awkward cuts. There's nothing that's uh, unusual. We're dealing with whole bricks or half bricks. And the soldier course at the top works for us. And we can understand brick dimensions from information that's readily available. There are lots of brick manufacturers around the, the UK and around the world who will provide brick dimension tables. So you can get horizontal brickwork tables and vertical brickwork tables. And you'll see there there's a number of different columns. So we'll, we'll come on to explain that. So there's really sort of three ways that we can lay out brickwork, the variations on the coordinating size. So this little example gives us uh, those three things to look at. The first one is where we're, we've got two external corners. And what that gives us is four bricks plus three mortar joints, which would be coordinating minus. The coordinating size that's bare is three bricks plus three mortar joints. And then we get uh, a wider opening between the faces, which is two bricks plus three mortar joints. 
And to use the brick tables, we need to figure out whether it's CO minus or plus uh, that we're using, the number of bricks that we want to use, and then we can cross-reference in the table to find out what the millimeter dimension is. So coordinating sizes are essential for the proper layout of brickwork, um, for the dimensions of the buildings and the openings, and everything should be designed to suit that brick. Um, otherwise, we end up with walls that are difficult to make and are awkward and clumsy. So aspects that you should take from this lecture are that working sizes of a brick are the manufactured size, that's the size that you buy. We need to figure out the coordinating size, and that's the working size plus one mortar joint in each direction. Mortar joints are normally taken at 10 millimetres, and the coordinating size, depending on the location of the brickwork and the shape of the wall, can be uh, CO, CO minus, or CO plus. And that brick dimension tables are available from most manufacturers. Okay, thank you very much for listening, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask.